Previously on Homesteading. We picked up some new pigs today for Yorkshire Land Race Cross Pigs. Uh, this guy was selling them today. They're six weeks old. They're still on milk. So we definitely did not want six week old pigs. No, I would never get a piglet this small or recommend anyone to get yeah. a piglet this young. Don't look for people who sell at eight. Here's one of the biggest reasons you don't want to get a pig that has not been weaned. You have to deal with feeding them milk, eating the milk to the right temperature. Plus, they're just more fragile. We have a lot of pig experience, so I'm not super worried. But if it's your first time getting pigs, make sure they're weaned. The guy was, I don't know. When I asked him how, uh, how old they were, he told me they were old enough. Next time I'll make sure to get specifics. When you get your new feeder pigs home, you want to see them up and about, curious, playing with things, interested in things. That tells you they're comfortable, they're happy, they're warm. Uh, these guys are just laying in a pile. They look cold. I got the heat lamp on them. I'm checking temperatures. Yeah, I, I don't know. I got a, a bit of a bad feeling about buying these pigs from this guy. I want to see them warm. I want to see them moving, coming over to have a drink, having some milk. Like I said, if you're doing pigs, try to find eight week old pigs. When he said they were old enough, eight weeks is old enough. That's what I thought he meant. And uh, I'm kind of kicking myself now because now I'm going to be stressed all night long about these pigs. Oh, we'll see. My pig farmer came out. He wanted to check on his pigs. He's in his PJs, but like a good farmer, he's coming out of the night making sure everybody's okay. What do you think? Okay. They look cold. That's what I thought too. Let's see. You want to point that in now? <laughs> no. All right, we're about 10 degrees colder than we need to be, so we got to get another heat lamp set up. Just more heat, and it's only getting colder tonight. Oh, I'm stressed about this. One of the things we really like about our heritage breed picks is they are a lot hardier to cold. The pink pigs are very susceptible to cold. If you let them get cold, they can get pneumonia and die really quickly. So this is not something we can slack off on. We gotta make sure tonight they warm up and start moving around. Warm piggy shelter is improving. We're gonna keep a lot of that heat down. These heat lamps, if you're gonna use heat lamps in your barn, you don't wanna burn your barn down. These Premier One heat lamps, I'll have a link below for them. Uh, they are the safest, the best. They're covered in a really good heavy duty plastic. So they actually can't come in contact with anything flammable. All right, we're getting better, we're getting better. We need a floor. The next step is moving them inside our house. I really don't wanna do that. Don't get animals in March. That's the lesson here. That's what we set up. It's a toasty little fort, but it's at 66 degrees right now. I think we have to go set up something inside the house. It's only getting colder tonight. It's gonna drop down like 15. These piglets, can't let them be cold. They gotta be healthy, they gotta be warm. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be moving pigs into my house tonight. That is not what I wanted to be doing tonight. Oh, man. Well, let's go move some pigs into my human home. At this point, it's super late, it's dark, and it's only getting colder. So instead of filming any of this, we just rush loading up the pigs, 
and get them inside our house, yes, inside our house, our human home, as quickly as possible so we don't have any footage of this. Comment below how many of you crazy homesteaders like us have moved an animal inside your home to try to, you know, save it. Let us know why. Tell us a story. We'll have some fun with this one. Commiserating. And now I present to you pigs living in my human home. What are those? So here they are, pigs that live inside my house now. We got the stove fired up, we are warming this room up, and uh, yeah, now I have pigs that live in my house. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Oh man. Okay, have you ever seen a more literal example of pigs in a blanket? <laughs> yeah? Get it? This is actually pigs in a blanket <laughs> inside my home where I live. I used to make fun of duck people because they always bring ducks inside. Oh. Yeah, I think we'll have to come out in an hour or so and like take a few Oops. blankets off. All right. Good morning. It's early in the morning and pigs had a nice warm night. Got them up to the 80s, so it's like tropical piggies in here. I'm gonna try to get them to eat today. They would not eat yesterday because they were too cold. Hey piggies. You guys warm? Hey piggies, piggies. I want some yummy milk. Don't do it, Piggy. Don't flip it. Come on, Piggy. Come on. Have some milk. It's milk. Pigs always flipping stuff up with those naughty noses. Come on. <sighs> Good lord. Can I get these pigs to eat? In the next episode of The Pig Chronicles, we pull out all the tricks to get these pigs to eat. The Cairo to rub on their gums to kind of give them a little boost of energy. And how long do they live inside our home? We make a big change to our barn so that we don't need to have pigs living inside our home very long. Stay tuned for the next episode in this piggy series. By the way, we think your homestead should have pigs, but we often tell people not to breed their own. If you want to find out why, watch this video.